Once upon a time, in a small town nestled among lush green mountains, there lived a wise and revered monk. He was known throughout the land for his ability to read people's minds, not through magic or supernatural powers, but by carefully observing their body language. The monk was sought by many, from villagers seeking guidance to kings requesting his counsel. One day, a troubled young man approached the monk with a heavy heart. He had been struggling with his relationships, often misunderstanding the intentions and emotions of others, leading to conflicts and distress. He had heard of the monk's extraordinary ability and had come seeking help to better understand those around him. The wise monk welcomed the troubled young man and invited him to sit by the serene lotus pond. Tell me, young man, what brings you here today? he asked gently. The young man hesitated for a moment before opening his heart, sharing the struggles he faced in his relationships and the constant misunderstandings that plagued his interactions. I feel like I can never truly understand what others think or feel. I wish I had your ability, he said, with a touch of desperation in his voice. The monk nodded, acknowledging the young man's pain. It's true that reading minds can be a valuable skill, but it is not a gift granted to a select few, he said thoughtfully. It is a skill that can be cultivated through practice and deep observation. He then imparted his wisdom to the troubled young man, guiding him through the eight ways to read a person's mind through body language. Crossed arms and legs signal resistance. When someone closes off like that, they are indicating their lack of openness to new ideas or discussions, suggesting they are mentally and emotionally blocked. Genuine smiles crinkle the eyes. A real smile reaches the eyes, creating crow's feet around them. When someone's smile doesn't reach their eyes, they may be hiding something. Mirroring body language is a sign of connection. Imitating someone's gestures unconsciously shows a bond between people, indicating the conversation is going well. Posture tells a story. Straightening his own back and adopting an upright posture, the monk explained that open gestures and confident body language convey power, while slouching indicates the opposite. The eyes can deceive. While it is commonly believed that liars avoid eye contact, some people may deliberately maintain it for too long to hide their lies. Raised eyebrows indicate discomfort. When emotions like surprise, worry, or fear arise, the eyebrows lift. If these emotions do not match the context, something may be amiss. Excessive nodding reveals a need for approval. People who nod excessively may be seeking validation or doubting their abilities. A clenched jaw signals stress. Tense facial muscles, such as a clenched jaw or furrowed brow, indicate significant discomfort, even if the person's words say otherwise. As the monk shared these insights, the young man listened attentively, absorbing the valuable teachings. He felt a new sense of understanding and compassion for others. He realized that by observing body language, he could overcome communication barriers and cultivate deeper connections with those around him. Thank you said the young man gratefully. Your teachings have opened my eyes to a new way of perceiving the world and understanding others. I will practice and perfect this skill to be a better friend, brother, and member of my community. The monk smiled, placing a reassuring hand on the young man's shoulder. Remember, dear friend, this skill is not meant to manipulate others but to foster empathy and compassion. Use it wisely and always with a genuine heart. From that day forward, the young man practiced diligently, learning to read the unspoken words in people's gestures and expressions. As he became more adept at understanding others, his relationships flourished, and he became a cherished confidant and friend to many. Over the years, the young man also became known for his ability to read minds through body language, just as the monk had done before him. He too passed on the knowledge to those who sought guidance, sharing the wisdom and compassion he had learned from the wise monk. And so, the legacy of these teachings continued to spread through the generations, reminding people that the key to understanding others does not lie in mystical powers but in keen observation, empathy, and genuine care for those around them. The village prospered by embracing these timeless lessons, living in harmony and compassion, forever grateful to the monk who taught them the art of reading minds through body language.